I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports Now on this Thursday, May the 7th. Finally, yesterday, after months and months of waiting, the findings of the Wells Report. Deflategate from back in the AFC Championship game. Something that became a big story leading up to the Super Bowl. What happened there? Why were those footballs deflated for the New England Patriots when they checked at halftime? of the AFC Championship game. When you read the report, all 138 pages of Ted Wells' findings, it was not definitive, but circumstantial evidence pins it on Tom Brady and the ball boys, the equipment managers up there in New England. How much did Brady know? How much was he pushing them to do what they did to deflate the footballs, to bring down the PSI to the levels the NFL found? That's still up for debate. There's not concrete evidence against Tom Brady, but there's enough circumstantial evidence that the NFL might come down and suspend the four-time Super Bowl winning quarterback, in Tom Brady. There's a lot of discussion now about what should happen to the Patriots, what should happen to Tom Brady, and moving forward here, what this means once again for the Patriots and the run they've been on for so many years now. For about 15 years now, the Patriots, the preeminent organization in the NFL, Tom Brady, along with Peyton Manning, but Brady because of the championships, the preeminent quarterback of this generation. And now Brady, not just the team, not just Bill Belichick like it was with Spygate, but Tom Brady individually implicated in a cheating scandal. Now, you could argue this cheating scandal and the you know, merits of deflating football doesn't have that much effect on the game. So this cheating may be a little bit different than other cheating. I would land in that category. To me, the Patriots were going to beat the Colts in that AFC Championship game, whether the PSI was high, low, or in between. They were the better football team, and they dominated in the second half when the balls were returned to where they were supposed to be. But there is a conversation going on right now about Tom Brady's legacy. Does this alter it? Does this taint it? You know, I think to all the great baseball players over the past generation who have been tainted by steroids. You shoeless Joe Jackson way back in the day, betting on baseball. Same thing with Pete Rose. You can go on and on down the list of those who have been implicated in cheating or steroids or gambling scandals, and their legacies have been tainted. To me, this doesn't go along with that. To me, what Tom Brady may or may not have done or been a part of or you know facilitated a little bit here in terms of the Wells Report and in terms of what he asked these equipment managers to do and how he wanted the footballs on game day does, is not enough to say Tom Brady's legacy and the player Tom Brady has been his entire career is severely altered or it's become that much better or his legacy and his play in the field has been that much better, appreciably better because of whatever happened with pumping up footballs. To me, that's not enough to say Tom Brady isn't the Tom Brady we've seen his whole career, isn't the great quarterback. He's now a knockdown a notch. I don't buy that and nothing that I can read in a Wells report and no one or two game suspension for Tom Brady to me can change that. This isn't a Major League Baseball hitter on steroids. This is closer to me to a pine tar type of incident. This is an incidental thing that is more for comfort. I don't believe that this gave Tom Brady enough of an edge or gave the Patriots enough of an edge to say definitively that this makes Tom Brady a notch above, that this is the reason why he got to and won his fourth Super Bowl. And by the way, in the Super Bowl where everything clearly was checked 10 times over because of what happened a couple weeks before, Tom Brady shredded the great Seattle Seahawks secondary and defense, especially in the fourth quarter of that game. We'll talk about this. This will be a big, you know, clearly a very, very big talking point for NFL fans, especially if Tom Brady is not available in week one or two. For the New England Patriots. If Tom Brady, a four-time Super Bowl winner, one of the great quarterbacks of all time, has to serve a suspension. It'll be a black eye for the league. It'll be a black eye for the Patriots. It'll be a black eye and an embarrassing moment on Tom Brady's right now pretty spotless career. But as far as his legacy, as far as what he's done in the NFL, as far as what Tom Brady's accomplished, to me, Deflate gate, PSI, and anything to do with the air inside of a football does not change it one bit. I'm Joe Gillio for NJ Sports.